Good evening, everybody. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much-anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. Tommy Hearns is making that final walk that separates man and warrior, soon to be in battle there in the ring. Leonard's a guy who you can see is supremely confident in his abilities. for 10 and now just wasting everybody's time holding on double jab by Tommy Hearns carries that punch away here's the moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science not just some raw savagery swinging out there. look at the little subtleties here Joe what he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch and then when he stops steps back makes a miss and comes right back well, a lot of people were looking forward to this fight, and with very good reason. When you pit these two guys together, it should be a very good fight. You don't have to look for either one of them. They are right there to be found, and our fans love that. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Hands up, hands up. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Right to the head with that right. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. His hands up defensively, protecting the head. That was a miss by Sugar Ray Leonard. Well, we've seen this matchup before. Tommy Hearns versus a power puncher. Yeah, and the one thing that Tommy doesn't want to do is allow his opponent into a place where he can use that TNT a little bit. You worry about Tommy's chin, but Tommy is better in so many other areas. He's faster, he's taller. He's able to punch on both sides. So look for him to stay where he can use his power better than his opponent can use his. So many times you hear of an early round where they're just peeling each other out. No way. Not these guys. Straight to action. Well, if they can keep this up, they're both going to have headaches, but we're going to have a special one on our hands. Oh, what an uppercut by Hearns. Hearns' pure aggression got to his opponent in that last round. He looks fresh, his opponent does it. Give him a chance to set his feet and get any punches on. We don't need that. Let's go that way. Keep your hands, all right? You have to keep your hands up. You need to throw more punches. The body, bang the body, hit that body. You don't need that. Go that way. Here we go. Round two is underway, and he ties up on the inside. Come on. 
missed here, by a mile. That wasn't even close by Tommy Hearn. <sighs> is doing well here with that two-punch combination. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Leonard blocks that punch. Halfway through this round here. Now he's putting his punches together. The combination upstairs. Hearns is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Leonard's going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good, solid counter. Tommy Hearns' combination punching is working well here. This is just beautiful to watch. Watch how he just links one to the next, Teddy. A beautiful sequence, almost like musical notes being played. Well, exactly. It's a nice tune because it just follows. One, as you said, follows the other. Nice and smooth. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Nice job snapping those jabs by Tommy Hearn. And that does it for this round. Need to move now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Leonard's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it, and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter nice must work. be steady. Good the job. same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Three is underway. Tommy Hearns is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. You see him holding on. You're still not moving enough. You got this one. Come on, get both. Oh, what an exchange! Hearns is giving us a taste of some of that athletic ability, that hand speed right there. Good combination. And his opponent, though, now is going to have to show us that he could do something to sort of, you know... Good power punch. The right hand landed. Hearns is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. He's got head moving. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Right back to the work up top. Leonard's left now getting into the mix. Hey, you gotta see that coming, now let's go. Sugar Ray Leonard's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Punches and bunches. Combination up top. Well-targeted left hand by Tommy Hearn. Ten seconds to go in this round. Just like that. Fine-looking right hand by Sugar Ray Leonard. You're fighting this fight. You're fighting on the inside for this guy. I want you to use the ring to keep your distance. Listen, I want you to pick his jabs. When he throws a jab, carry it away.
okay, don't worry. You're doing fine. I need you to move your head more, side to side. Well, with three rounds complete here, it's worth a look at Teddy's scorecard to see where he sees it. Solid straight right hand. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing one-on-one, counter-punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Tommy Hearns is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. See that combination by Tommy Hearns. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Keep working the jab. 90 seconds to go in round number four. He needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. What an excellent two-punch combo by Tommy Hearns. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Sugar Ray Leonard. And he's really doing a nice job of hitting the mark with the jab. And that's exactly what he needs. And it's not hard to hit the mark when the mark's coming at you. The right choice of a punch. Not much action as he just ties up. And makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. A couple of quick jabs landed by Tommy Hearn. <gasps> Leonard's corner has to give him some advice here because that left hand has been scoring too consistently. Exactly, Joe, and there's nothing else that he really has to worry about. Take that out of the equation, he'd be winning the fight. I don't know, Teddy, it just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's gonna try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's gonna feel at the end of the night. Right? Keep your range. Jab, jab, right, okay? Listen, I need to see some counter punches, okay? Whenever he misses, count. Five has arrived. Lance flush with the two punch combo by Tommy Hearns. Oh, what a whiff by Sugar Ray Leonard. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. And now he's targeting upstairs. Leonard's gone into a defensive shell, but that shell has cracks in it. Yeah, it does, and the reason why it's getting cracks is because his opponent is confident that with those earmuffs on, you know, going into that peek defense that he is, he knows he's handcuffed. So he's putting together three, four, five punches where normally he would only throw one or two, worried something's gonna come back. Halfway into round number five here. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Tommy Hearns is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Good step back counter punch there. Sugar Ray Leonard's got a way of just getting away from that punch. A little defense turns to offense by Tommy Hearns. Hearns is so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Sugar Ray Leonard's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. He clinches when he gets to the inside. 
Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. Doubling up the jab by Tommy Hearn. And the round comes to an end. We've seen this all night long. Headshots coming in against him. Leonard's defense is just not up to speed here. Well, Joe, and it hasn't been, as you just said, all night long. It's getting late in the game now, and I think it's getting to the point where the referee has to start looking at the possibility, and even the corner, of stopping this fight. The head and the body, all right? Upstairs, downstairs, and over again. the hump the back end of the fight now begins able to get rid of that one trying to erode away that body with the combination punching and he engages in the clinch Tommy Hearns, his defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Good look at right hand after he got hit. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Leonard's probably thinking to himself, there has to be an adjustment out there that I can make. Now, he's known as a guy who's a pretty good boxer, but here in these middle rounds, he's not paying off. No, I think what he has to do is maybe just for a minute, go away from being a boxer, sit down a little bit. He's got to do something to slow down his opponent, gain his respect a bit. Halfway through round six, Tommy Hearns is doing well here with that two-punch combination. Jumper cut by Ray. Block! Block! Side to side! Tommy Hearns is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Tommy Hearns. Hearns is winning this fight, and if you ask most of us ringside why, we would say he's in better shape. His conditioning has been great as this fight has gone along. Yeah, he did what he was supposed to do in camp. He got ready for this moment. Also, his intellect. He's a smart guy out there. Have to keep your distance. Stay away from him. Keep throwing that jab. Keep your hands up. Right? You, you have to keep your hands up. Watch the water in the corner. Come on. now we're underway in what has been a completely one-sided fight you get the sense this one may not go the distance good. Range. Range. targeting that head with the combination punching Leonard's not coming up with the results that you would want to see out of him. Now, he's trying to counterpunch Teddy, but it doesn't seem to be the answer. No, he kind of looks a little bit like that guy who went in to get his hair dyed, you know? And he thought, he thought it was going to be just a little bit lighter, and it wound up being a lot lighter. And he said, wow, what the heck did I do? I didn't think I was going to look like this. I didn't think that I was going to box like this. And a well, oh, a big shot comes home for him. Opponent could crack, and now he knows too. He is down. And right now, he's actually thinking about what he's gonna do. Am I gonna get up? One, two, three, four. Five. Down he goes, but he's gonna continue on, beating the count.
You're not focusing. Teddy, he's stunned right there. Now he's clinching right here. And that's the only way he's getting through this round. He needs to stay there and hold on for dear life. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Tommy Hearn. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left-hand scores. Burns, what a big shot. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? His opponent unable to beat the count. by knockout. Now, I think he was headed towards a decision win anyways, but what a good way to just put a stamp on his evening. Yeah, bring down the curtain and make sure that more people are going to be talking about you when they leave the arena tonight. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.